Listen to a conversation between two students on their way to business management class. Eric, Eric, wait up a minute. Hey. Huh? What? Oh, hi, Pam. What's up? You okay? Yeah, whoosh. Yeah. I've just been trying to catch up to you for the last block. Boy, you walk fast. Sorry, I'm running late, that's all. Can you walk and talk at the same time? What's on your mind? Whoosh, uh, mm. Have you got any money? Have you got any extra money? <laughs> huh? Sure. How much do you need? Ten, twenty bucks? What'd you do? Go over budget again this month? No, no. I'm not out of pocket, no. Have you got any real money? I've been working on my practicum for financial management, you know, and... Oh, that, yeah. Mm, you picked what? Cash management, didn't you? How's that going? Oh, it's going great, Eric. Real great. That's what I want to tell you about. I'm supposed to work with a $200 limit that Dr. Geithner set us, and I think I can do pretty good for a CBA company. CBA company? Yeah, I thought that was more interesting than ABC company. Oh, real catchy, yep. Very imaginative, Pamela. Thanks. Anyway, the $200 I'm using as CBA's minimum cash on hand, and I want to start investing it in overnights. Overnights? Those are short-term deposits, right? Right. You make the deposit at 6 p.m., and then it matures at 6 a.m. the next morning. It's a half-day term deposit. It doesn't earn much interest, of course, but the security and liquidity are 100%. And the principal and interest are fully guaranteed. And you make a little money on your money that's not doing anything at night anyway. Little is the operative word there, isn't it? What do you make on $200 then, Pam? About 0.10%. 20 cents. Wow, you'll be rich as Croesus. No, now wait a minute, Eric. Listen now. This is just a practicum. Real businesses do this. Big corporations do this. And they've got maybe three or four million dollars in cash lying around at the end of every workday. Try four million dollars at 0.1 percent. Which gives us, uh, how much then? Four thousand dollars. Four grand? That's more like it. Overnights are beginning to sound all right. I wish I had a million to invest. Me too. And you see, that's where my problem comes. This is a practicum, not theoretical research. So I've got to actually invest that $200. The catch is that overnights, they need a minimum principal of $2,000. They won't accept my $200. Oh, so... So I was thinking, I've got a little over $1,500 in the bank. That's what the $200 is coming out of. So if I could come up with another $500 somewhere, so that I'd have the minimum, and that's when I thought of you. Huh? Oh, I get it. You want me to lend you the $500. I see. Yes. Could you, Eric? Overnight? For one day? Well, um, no. I need it for about 10 days. I'm going to have to roll it over through several overnights so I can collect enough data on the earnings and everything, but... It's really risk-free, Pam? Absolutely, Eric. Absolutely. Is Citibank going to go bankrupt overnight or in 10 days? I doubt it. Well then, what about the interest? Huh? What do you mean? The interest we earn. On $2,000, that should be about two bucks, right? We split that, right? Well, actually, since I'll be rolling over the principal about 10 times, we should make about $20. And, and we'll share the profit, sure. Your $500 and my 1500 that would give you, let's see, 25% um, of $20 is $5 interest on your $500 loan. Not bad, huh? <laughs> I guess I won't get rich, but okay, it's a deal. When do you need the money? Well, as soon as you can, I guess. Let's see now. Can I write you a check? Sure. Then I'll write you a check in class. Now, let's go or we'll be late. Great. Thanks, Eric. Thanks a lot. You're a real friend.